It's the Normies, and we're here for a brand new season of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. Hell yeah, this is season five, episode one. You know the drill. You've been here before. We'll find out the title later. Yes. But I'm Renna. I'm Pat. Nubby. I'm Spidey. How are we feeling about our new season, guys? I am excited. I wonder if there will be new character? Or oh, yeah? somebody bring a back a character? Mm. I like when they bring back characters. That's always fun. You know who we haven't seen? Those brothers. The sweaty boys? Yeah, yeah. the sweaty yeah. boys. The McPoyles? The McPoyles. We haven't seen them for a minute. I don't yeah. know if I want to see them, but they're always funny. They're so gross. Yeah. They're, they're fun to watch. They're awesome. fun to watch. But yeah. There's like no way we can predict what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. This has been going on for almost like 20 seasons now. So it's just amazing that they can get this creative still and go off things. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to continue this journey. Oh, Marcus Substitute support the original content. Hit that like and subscribe button because it's new season, baby. Let's do it. Let's you do it. You want more stuff? We do have a Patreon. We also have um, uncuts. If you go to our Patreon, we have uncuts of Peacemaker. Also, the full cuts of Peacemaker. Yeah. Which means uncuts, yeah. Peacemaker and Succession are only on Patreon. So check it out, guys. Check it out. All right, let's get started. Yeah. I think that's what I said, right? I'm trying to remember. You said Patreon, uncut. Yeah, right. That's Peacemaker. what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know where to find that. Right there. All right, don't look, guys. Don't look oh, yeah. So, yeah, don't look. Stop it. No, so you're dumb. getting hung up on can't. And you I'm say. not saying that you can't. So, they did I'm all whole musical in the weekend? Illegal. No, it's not mm -hmm. illegal. Yeah. Yes, Dude, it, it, I want that shirt, no, the green one. Patty's ice cream. Yeah. bird is a pet, bro. It's no different than having a parrot or a parakeet. It's a bird, you bro. Really, you really can't? Bird law in this country? It's not government. What do you mean by bird law? What's bird law? Birds are fake. Despite you, I'm gonna get one. Hello? Where are we with gulls? You guys. Have you ever heard a gull up close? It's gonna blast your eardrums out. Guys, I'm serious. I have huge news here. They don't even care. No. I got great news, guys. I bother me so much. Fuck this. I just bought a house at a foreclosure auction. Hey, good. Oh, shit. That's amazing. Is it amazing? <laughs> You're not moving out, are you? I bought this as an investment. Not the best time to invest, I don't think. No. Oh, I beg no? to differ with you. As soon as the market turns around, I'm gonna make a boatload. What That's exciting. Hell? You're very good. I'm having you. a baby. <gasps> what? <coughs> no, she's not. Is she? Do yourself a favor and flush it out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wants a surrogate. Before you continue this babbling, does your thing involve us in any way, or are you just kind of at us? <gasps> <gasps> That's huge news, so I figured you guys yeah. might want to know. It doesn't matter. Let's just talk about the house. Oh! oh my God. She's carrying a... She's not pregnant yet. House! 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 This episode could have gone uh, two, one of two ways. Like. One of two ways. I mean, that's not a bad idea. No. Be surrogate and make a lot of money. Uh, How much do you make, though? Like, bro, I you... wish I could afford one. They're like a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I was gonna say it is oh. five to six figures. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's You're couples, a child. Who, couple, yeah, couples who can't have kids. No Why can't I not have kids? That's easy money. I mean, you sure. have to carry oh, a child with nine vagina. Months. I said, why sure. can't I not? <laughs> oh. That's, that's, you make six figures, of, like, you. Man, like, and they still they feed you. Right, you can make a million dollars within ten years, but pop a kid every day. Sure, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Sorry, but do you have any history with drugs or alcohol? Yes. <laughs> Never. Neither. Never. <laughs> any family history of mental illness? Yes. Well, my brother's a dick, if that counts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> that just a joke, though, Sean. So the next one. Okay, so what about your medical history? I have never had. A health problem. Are you serious? Life. You had a heart attack. She had a heart attack. Yeah. She had heroin. She grew up with that back brace. Yeah, I think this they should get report from her doctor. Right. Yes, it really is. Okay, great. So let's talk turkey, and by that I mean money. Oh, we just thought we'd pay the standard rate of twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Yeah. Okay. No, that's no. nothing to carry. I'm sorry. What are your thoughts on doubling down, so to speak? And going for twins. You guys want to go for an Octomom thing? Huh? <gasps> I'm game. You want to have ten? I, I just, I think we're really just going to do the one. I think is, is what we want. Uh, the idea of eight babies growing inside me freaks me the fuck out, guys. Do you remember the Octomom? Yeah. Fuck that shit. How do you even, like, take care of eight? I don't know what you want. Start a TV show. Get the hell out of our house. Jesus, there's people here. Squatters. We're not squatters. This is our house. We own this house. You didn't buy it from us. You bought it from the bank. We didn't sell. Oh, look, bitch. We then it's foreclosed. You yeah. leave. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I remember those cops. Think about the law, all right? What happens 
if you accidentally hit a child with an umbrella? In the eyes of the law, that is child abuse. We could cave the husband's skull in here. Yes, we could take the wife down to the basement, have a frenzy free-for-all with her. We could tie the kids up. What? This is a rape her. Stop, Dennis. Stop. We could smear the walls with their blood. Guys, there are any number of twisted scenarios that could play out here, but I think the easiest thing really okay, is to just go get the deed. Are you shitting me, Dennis? Yeah. For now, we take the high road. Let's take, take, the, take the high road okay. out of here. Okay. <laughs> high road? That's the only road, man. Can you call the cops on squatters? Yeah. 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 I mean, you have to go through a whole legal process that takes months. You gotta prove that's your house. You can get them out pretty quick. Oh, shit. Is that a pool? Uh, <laughs> is that a pool? Yeah. <laughs> when the baby comes, we'll have a fence around right, it. Right, right, right. How deep? Uh, eight feet. Oh, man. You guys jackknife off this diving board all the time or what? You mind if I get in? No. Um. Yeah. We, we have a lot of stuff to do today. You're not going to carry their baby. Yeah, no, errands are very important, but really the most important thing right now is for me to stay relaxed if you don't want my tubes to get all tensed up. So... You You're not going to pick a, yet. I know. They didn't pay. Or should like... I just jump in in my birthday gear? No, don't do that. Mm -hmm. well, honey, do we have a suit that she can borrow? I think she got the job. Why, though? They didn't sign... I, I you haven't said a yes. She's I just... mean, she wanted to go get her baby suit. Because she's not leaving. No reason to be animals about it. And they changed the locks. Yes, they did. You were right, Frank. They changed the uh, locks, I'm buddy. I'm telling these people, they're uncivilized <gasps> deadbeats. <laughs> All right, ready? What oh, the? Here we go. And a one. one. They're not easy. You're going to break that. You're going to break your own and door, though. Oh. That felt very unsatisfying to me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. Should you guys, um. What is no. it? Yeah, yeah, try to smash the door. No, God, stop. Why are they like this? That's your door if you keep the house. This family behind me has yeah. 90 days to vacate. Vacates. Until then, you can't touch them. Let, what me, do you got let me handle this, Frank. It's not Bulberg. Yeah, He's making a few good man. points. Yeah. Look, buddy, Crap. I know a lot about the law. And you can't read. Now, let's say you and I go toe-to-toe -to -toe in bird law and see who comes out the victim. Bird oh, law. I don't think I bird anything law. Um, close to that, and I can see clearly you know nothing about the law. It seems like you have a tenuous grasp on the English language in general. <laughs> uh, well, filibuster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> filibuster. Yeah, what's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Why are you guys letting him talk? <laughs> Just through the door. Yeah. <laughs> Why uh, just open the damn door? Honestly, I'm just like they're all just horrible. I'm just shocked. I don't know how I'm shocked. <laughs> I, how am I shocked? I knew that guy was full of shit. I knew it. What guy? That lawyer guy. Okay, he slandered me in front of a jury of my own peers. All right. Look what they used to do when that sort of thing happened. Take a look at this picture. What do you see? <clears throat> I see two trannies shooting. <laughs> <laughs> They're dueling, okay? These are lawyers settling an argument by dueling it out. Um, now, he now can't I read. The two trannies are lawyers? Because it's an old book, okay? I don't know how to explain <laughs> everything. You just picked an old book? What book is that? What are you doing, Deandra? Collecting the money, bitches owe me. Going on maternity leave. I'm living the high life. She got hired, told you. Why would they hire her? Hey, how are you doing? We're uh, here just looking at the house. This guy's hilarious. Hi, I'm, I'm I would not enter a house that's duct taped. This is my associate Vic Vinegar. Uh, <laughs> we are here to show you this house. Mm. Oh, okay. oh God. Who kisses on knuckles? Why are you like this? Good cop, bad cop, you know? Okay. Yeah, but you don't need to. Well, you know, I'm thinking this might be a bit large for uh, what we need. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Is this house too big for you? Why don't you ask your wife what she needs? Yeah, Why is he, like, like actually like what it's like to be deep inside a really big house? I think we're just going to go now. Yeah, okay, okay. We're going to go. We're gonna go. Gonna buy this Sir, are you going to buy we this don't house? want any trouble, sir. Please, please. Going to buy this house. Why would you sell a house like this? Yes, why? Buy this house. That's it. There we go. It worked. It worked. I don't know, man. I have to be so sexy. Teach that. That was amazing, bro. You think that's gonna work? Bro, it already did work. You heard the skirt. She said, yes, I will buy You it. heard the skirt? They didn't sign anything. Oh. You can't just, like... If they back out now, I will find them, I will strangle them, I will beat them into oblivion. <laughs> what the hell? That's, that's not good. That's not okay. Full vinegar. What does that mean? Let's get another house. Flip it over. Yeah. Some cash. 
Yeah, you know, it's not really the cash that I care about anymore. It's, it's the thrill of the sale that I'm responding to. You didn't sell the house? You just said yes. That means nothing. A shite mince words with you for long. I am challenging you, sir, to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want time to think it over? No. Or no, 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 not at all. Um, what time were you thinking of dueling? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have time, because you would have to go out and get a proper gun. I actually keep one right here in the drawer. You got one right there? I don't need to see it. I like to keep it loaded, because you never know who's going to walk into one of these days. Let's say that you've learned your lesson now, and I've learned a little lesson, and I, learned a little lesson. And I will respectfully decline the duel. <laughs> you know, there's no backing out. I mean, that's the law. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, cause um, wherever you are, I'll find you. Yeah. I'm gonna put one right between your teeth, and it's just gonna pop out the back of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna wear a helmet everywhere he goes now. Watch me bust out this sweet jackknife. Oh, she's gonna hurt herself. She won't be able to start getting anymore. Oh! I biffed that one, huh? You biffed it. Woo! Could you get me a refill on that guy? What is this? Pini colada. Been crushing them. They're great in the heat. Hello? Uh. Hello? No, no, no. Hi! No, no. We're the wealthy homosexual couple that she promised her womb to. Indeed we are. You guys! How are you doing, sweetie? Oh, excuse us for just one second. Oh, boy, it's good to see you. What the hell are you guys doing? To the camera guy. Yeah, yeah I did. The shadow. <laughs> yeah. What's in the shadow? The, the camera, camera guy. Oh. We're buying every single house in the neighborhood. We get the house and you get a higher price for that kid you're crapping out. Everybody wins. Crapping Why out. this house? They want this house. Uh, we're giving Deandra one hundred thousand dollars to carry a child for us. Now I'll be providing the sperm, of course, and I'll be providing the money because I'm the breadwinner in the relationship, and I'm the trophy husband. Well, <laughs> he's my bottom. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm the power bottom. <laughs> hey! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Splinter, there's a gate, bro. Just what open the door. Uh, everything's fine because Dad is here now. Who are you? I'm the father of the baby that's growing inside of her stomach, and I need a safe place to hide. Oh! oh. Why? Abort! Do not buy this house. There's a goddamn gate! You all are crazy, and I'm asking you to leave. Yes. So let's go. Really? Yes. This is a very inviting pool. You heard the guy. You heard him. I, I am so sorry about that. What? That was nuts, wasn't it? Ugh. We're gonna have to ask you to leave as well. But what about the baby? We're just gonna find someone else. So they oh, were gonna go with her. I can't believe this. Oh, this shit. <laughs> Jack man! <laughs> Logan, I'd be doing this shit too. Fuck that. I don't know why I'm shocked again. <laughs> I was. It's a pool. You gonna jump in a pool? But it's not their pool. They don't. I will have to drain that pool. Oh, dude, I swear. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. I can't believe this. Oh, my god, that's hilarious. Why am I always shocked? Here, I'll take it. <laughs> I can't wear my name. <laughs> <laughs> where the? <laughs> oh, you got it. No, you didn't. I don't know where it is. I just oh, lost where'd it go? Oh, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> just not showing this <laughs> top. This um, was a great premiere, you guys. It was. Oh yeah. my god, this was awesome. The team's back to just being assholes. Yo. <laughs> like, hey, seriously. <laughs> No one I love how the episode D. began. Like he's like, I have news. Ignores and then <laughs> Frank, news, 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 <laughs> news, news. God, abort, abort, or flush, flush. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis tried to stand up for her for a second. Try to yeah. go her. And he's like, weak. Yeah, they're like a house, 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 <laughs> house. <laughs> I was like, why? Um, they I, had a good idea, but she's just too idiot to like. Yeah, she went execute it properly. Come on, King know. Billy Plop. Like, yeah, <laughs> jackknife. Like she could have done it, like if she acted normal, but she's not normal. Number one, she so. took two advantage. Two yeah. advantage, and I can't believe honestly, I'm blaming the couple too. Y'all saw her crazy. Like yeah. what? What made you think that this was any okay? Yeah, <laughs> I was surprised they actually picked her. I thought right? they were just still doing interviews, and they just um. Listen, she has she, good she was like she just like oh I just got it and started doing things. It's like I didn't. Why would you? If like don't rely on her to give you health information. Get it She's from like, the doctor. I, I've never been sick. Never been sick. <laughs> Heart attack. Never done drugs. Yeah, Literally heroin. Whole episode or meth. Crack. What was it? Twice. Yeah. She yeah, was addicted. They crack. 
Crack. Yeah, addicted to so many things. And there was another thing that she was addicted to. They were Charlie. eating human meat, but they're not shared. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. They had a worm. But instead. there wasn't like glue or something that she was hu- oh, yeah, they were huffing. They were huffing something. Oh, when they were trying to go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> there was something. Yeah, the hu- cat food. Yeah, the cat yeah, food. And like that huff all that. Glue. Glue. Oh, sleep. God. And she basically like, she, like, was it all real? Did she dream it? But yeah, dude, I don't know, man. Mm. They're just idiots. And like. I should be used to it now. We're what five seasons in? Yeah. <laughs> I found myself with my mouth like shocked. I'm like, wait, why, I know. why are you shocked? It's funny. Somebody commented that it's like I say that they're crazy in every episode. It's like yes, because every yeah. episode I'm just like, oh maybe like this time one of them will do different. No, they prove no. it. Yeah, no. they don't. Bro, oh. the funniest thing to me in this episode was Charlie because like he he admitted he is dyslexic or he can't read or whatever issue he has. He said it, right? Yeah. And he, first of all, reads a law book, he says, which I know you didn't. And it you goes, don't know? He did it because he accepted a duel. He's like, yeah, a duel is binding by law. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she bit off more than he could chew for sure. What's, what's the difference between regular law and Bird's law? Like back in the day, not. I guess, like. Is that Bird's law? It's just, it's just law what the in fuck general, is a but like, bird? there's a law on what birds you can and can't the have. Statues. It's like pets. Mm, uh, but that's like any no, law, no, no, like no, a pet no, law. No, 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 like, go back, go back. Press back. You did it. Bird's law. Sunny, it. always sunny. Yeah, right there. Um. Parody law for par- parody, which does exist. <laughs> What's that? I have learned this from his uncle, who's a lawyer. What's that? Um, I don't know what parody I don't know what is. that is. I'm oh, like when you make a parody of something? I don't know. Um, yeah, when you make a parody of something. I guess so, yeah. So, but he was mixing that up with the bird with law. actual parrots? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with the parrots. He's mixing up with the birds. Oh, um, God. That's funny. That's hilarious, dude. So starting with that. <laughs> But yeah, so apparently in Indiana, annual is fifty four thousand dollars for surrogate. Yes. Fifty four. Pro- that's, pro- that's, pro- that's probably like like the average. It's definitely more, dude. That's I mean, like in Indiana. Years. So that's a year salary. I mean, somewhere. bro, like you got to feed the kid. You know, you got like. Well, the family. The family no. pays. That's fifty four yeah. is yeah. outside of like also paying for the medical and the feeding. What and for all real? Yeah. yeah. Oh damn, what man! What the fuck would the surrogate have to pay for anything? Right, yeah. well, she got to eat, and then she got to go yeah, pay yeah, for. That's but that's why I thought one hundred thousand dollars. You know, you cover those expenses. No, no, no. So that's fifty four thousand. Profit? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, man, it's a family. You carry Bye, baby. you fucked me up. It's nine months, <laughs> so you carry a baby for nine months. But don't forget, like, you gain weight, you go through issues. That's cool. 54. P- it's Are you fun. saying this because you can't have kids yeah. right now? <laughs> if you were a female, that would be a whole different thing. Because Why? Because like, everybody would be a seven. You can't sleep on your, like, you have, you have to, like. All right, but listen. Like, and let's then say, you have to give the kid away. Get, listen, you pop 10 babies, you make a million dollars. That's a lot. I'm not popping 10 babies out of my vagina, dude. That's 10 years. It's 10, 10 years. It yeah. tears your vagina up. But then you get plastic surgery, you know, reconstruction. No, no. who's paying for that? From you have your money. That, that surgery is not that cheap. But don't you put, you get a million dollars, you're invest in things. I think the idea money. when you have a baby, this is so funny. Like when you have a baby, you can like rip a little. Mm-hmm. Like when you give yeah, birth. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you give it. So like they, they stitch you back up, obviously. And then like there's something called the husband stitch, an extra stitch for your husband if you like to be all like. Oh my God. I'm like, fuck that, fuck that noise first of all i'm popping out a baby and i'm getting a husband's no well, why Kiss not my hey. fucking ass that's a weird term but i think I the point the right yeah i think the point is surrogacy like it's it's not everybody like i think everybody if they want to sure um but it's also you having somebody else's kid that you kind of have to have a contract that you give that kid away and you, you can't have keep no it. connection um, with that kid whatsoever like you can't just say like that's yours or whatever and there's a lot of emotional to it because you are carrying that child for nine months so that's why not everybody like, i mean everybody could be doing a surrogacy like I, but I you also gotta be in good health because right you have to be yeah that so that's, cu- why, that's why that's why i cuss a lot of people that out. couple should do much more in-depth history yeah. we like you need to go to a doctor like yeah. bring us the actual medical records like you don't just trust because she literally drinks all day yeah <laughs> Yeah, but I can't believe Kim K surrogate was only. There's no way. But that's yeah. Point. I mean, I really like maybe we did uh, go over on the number because that's. I mean, yeah. Like five I think figures, just including sense. everything, right? Like I, yeah, that's how much you get paid, but everything else is paid for while you're there. You probably stay. Yeah, you probably stay at Kim Kardashian's place somewhere yeah, yeah. because they want to make sure. Um, yeah, you're taking care of. Yeah, you're eating good food too. You probably eating all organic and shit. Yeah. yeah. So all that is included. I think that's where it comes down to. Like your salary is not just what you're getting. Like all the other benefits included. Um, yeah, I mean, hundred k might be a lot, but like, hey. How much did Beyonce pay? 
Because the twins were from a surrogate. No, no, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll celebrate a kiss, don't be, what the? F- no, Beyonce but, didn't carry all the, I thought she carried, so she, she carried, carried Blue Ivy. Yeah, she carried Blue, Blue but Ivy. I thought the twins were from a surrogate. No, I remember her being pregnant for that, I thought. She or no, I could be wrong. Surrogate. Oh, was it a rumor? Yeah, it was no, a rumor. I remember, because she had yeah. a photo shoot. Oh, wait, see if she carried all her babies. Down there, it's right there. Right there, right there, the second one. I thought, because she didn't have like two different photo shoots. I don't oh, remember yeah. the second she one. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, yeah, it, was was a, it was a good shit, Beyonce. It was a floral uh, yeah. maternity shoot before she had the twins. It's and also Blue pre- Ivy was in it. Yeah, pregnancy yes, can be really hard. Like you saying that you'll have kids now. ten, like ten years. You may not be able to get pregnant, or the pregnancy might result in like you losing your life. Which is why Kim Kardashian didn't have. Uh, like she didn't give birth to after first time because it would have really her um, first baby. Yeah, she, she, it, it would have been risk to her life yeah. to have a birth second. You time. know who does like makes the? I feel like bang for buck or like how much work I'm putting into as far as like the baby mm-hmm. birthing world. The ladies who lactate too much, yeah, and just sell milk. That is a huge. That's industry. fucking gold, bro. That, that is, is liquid gold. gold. It's crazy. How, how much money is in that? She because doesn't stop. She because can't stop. Milking. It's liquid gold, bro. Yeah. Some women have trouble, like after they have a baby, have trouble producing milk, unfortunately, and they, they have somebody who try to help stuff. them, like you know, produce. How about milk. For, don't, no more formula? It's not. Really it's not good. the same. Mm-hmm. Like, so breast milk is like literally liquid gold. It like helps build up your immune system. It helps you like just it has all the immune acid, all like the stuff everything, that the kid everything, needs, mm-hmm. everything, and the protein like that. Powder milk can only do so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a good substitute if you can't produce milk. And it's, don't get me wrong, formula milk is great. But if you can breastfeed, go for it. The idea of breastfeeding freaks me out too. Did bro. you watch mm-hmm. Working Moms? Yeah, I did. No. Okay, I but love you watched it. Love uh, Brie show. would love that show. Yeah. And there was a one season where like one of the lady like she produced a lot of milk. Like anytime she was <laughs> near an infant. Infant, like, she didn't even she, have a fucking she, baby. She will bro. just start producing oh, that sucks. So she started selling it, yeah, um, because she realized mm-hmm. it was she thing, was deep freezing it. Yeah, and you know what? I might it. have seen this. Maybe, and then yeah. it's she something has, like, that you have hair. to so. sell really quickly because it does go bad. So you have to like make sure you it stays customers. in a cooler and all that stuff. You have customers and doing it. There is a really good documentary about it. Um, I think it's on YouTube or something. Like this woman who makes a lot of money because there's a lot of. A woman who can't produce milk and it's really hard on them, um, and their kid needs it, so it's mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's free. not something as easy as yeah. people think it is. Yeah. No, um, there's like a lactation like nurse that helps you, like you know, show you how you can make, produce your milk, maybe. But it, and the just, kids so, just bite your nipple off, yeah. Honestly, I, like all my friends who breastfeed, I don't know if I want to do it, bro. I am probably gonna do it, but I also don't know if I want to do it because, like, no matter what, you will chafe, you get blisters, they bite you. I think that's just a part of it. If you can do it, you might yeah, as well do it's it. Free fucking milk. If you can mm-hmm. do it, then you have to go somewhere else. Let's get back to that. Episode. It's all, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the gang was exploring the mortgage crisis. <laughs> Hey, it all goes into it, so we're gonna see. Yeah. Um, that was funny. It's like we're all learning with, shit together. Yeah, with the foreclosure. Um, That's smart. I didn't realize with, if you have a foreclosure, they have ninety days to leave. Ninety days yeah. seems a lot. Yeah, right. You got three yeah. months. Yeah, like you can't pay months, so like you can't pay mortgage, but now no. you have ninety days to like stay in yeah. this house. And while and more, someone else still has got to pay that mortgage. Anyways. I want to kick them well, out. And the who well, I think Frank will have to right. Like yeah. Frank bought it, but yeah. he has thirty. Like he got. It. Which got it's that I think it's that he bought it, yeah, like as soon as it got foreclosed on, so they had the full ninety days. But I thought that as soon as it gets foreclosed on by the bank, you have ninety days from that date, not from when someone comes to buy it. You know what I mean? Mm, I so like Frank could have been watching this house, but also it was gonna go quick because it's a beautiful house. So yeah. never mind, man. Frank did what he could. He was trying. Yeah. He was too fast. Yeah, he was. I want to go to like a estate sale so bad. Do you guys think um, you run into a good cop, bad cop at an estate sale? Oh, God. No. If I run into a realtor who's a bad cop, I'm not staying. I'm sorry. Are you trying to sell me or interrogate me? I right? swear, Mac would have got fought, bro. <laughs> yeah, and they just got yes, like we sold the house. It worked, though. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but they didn't sign any it did papers. not work. He said, that's a verbal agreement. You heard it. Yeah, it's not how it works. They're not coming back. You're never going to find these people again. Are you going to hunt them down? Tell them you got to have a very good agreement. Where? Where did they come from? And Charlie's going to be our lawyer? Yeah. No, nah, man. Charlie's got a duel to handle. <laughs> Charlie just showed up. I was like, we have something to work on. <laughs> he said, let's crazy. not do the duel. That's crazy. Well, I can't believe he put the kids, it's like kids paint your own rooms and then you get the bronze. Yeah, and then he's trying the to kiss the hand. Like, why are you kissing the Oh, yeah, muscle? why did you lose the house again? What did the kids do? They um, paid a mortgage. 
No, 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 no kids. Uh, he had the kids basically. Uh, it was labor. He had them changing labor. their room, and they shouldn't have. And then they burned their hands on some brass pipes downstairs. He would think like when basement take down the brass. The whole pipe. house because of that. They sued him, so yeah. they're like, oh, "I'm gonna sell uh, them those. child labor," and uh, they could have called. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sued. The sue makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that lawyer was smart. Mm. He's good. <laughs> he I'll, was. He was so done with their shit. Yeah, like he's done with having to deal with Frank at all. But apparently, he has met. Frank before. Yeah, there was an episode where we see him before, but I forget exactly what the fuck. Was it with the doing. wife? Probably. I think so. Probably. Probably. The, husband, the other husband. Or yeah. Other dude. Yeah. That could make sense. I can't believe they like came in, tried to break the door when they couldn't. It's like, we gotta break it from inside. Like, what are <laughs> so you doing? Unsatisfying. It's like, this is your house. It's like, my door. <laughs> my door. I was like, okay. And then it's just coming in. It's like, oh, all the things we can do to these people. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. like, Smeared our blood on the wall. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, my God. We'll take the high road and bring the deed. Like, <laughs> what is happening here? What a nice house, though. Yeah. Nice house. Yeah. But, oh, Dee had a good idea, but I wish she could have. She could have actually executed it. Do right. you think she would have given the cut up? Yeah. I mean, she would have yeah, to. Yeah. You no, you guys, you said, you said some people couldn't give it up, so do you think she would do that? I mean, you feel emotionally, but you signing the contract, you have to give the kid up. But yeah. it's going to emotionally, it may have emotional toll on you, like you carry the kid, and yeah. Have you ever watched Friends? Mm-hmm. Um, when remember Phoebe, Phoebe tried to give up the triplets? Yeah, Phoebe uh, was surrogate to her brother. Yeah. And she had three kids, and she almost didn't want to give them up, and was like, you kind of have to. And she's like, I can keep one of them. It's like, no, man. You can keep <laughs> all three of them. That's not how it works. Um, because she was emotionally distraught. It's like, yeah. I can I carry these for nine months, and now I have to give them up. And can't. And they will have to call me aunt. They named one Chandler. I love it. Yeah. Chandler's a girl. Because <laughs> <laughs> I heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> France was great. Yeah. R.I.P. Chandler. Yeah. All right, guys. I think we're going to jump into the next one. Do we have anything else to add to this no. one? No. No? Mm-hmm. All right. Bye. Bye. What's up, you hooligans? Thank you so much for watching another episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We got to thank Joe, Mags, Puffy, Lucas, and Matthew Taylor for being super normies and elite normies. But we'll catch you guys on the next time.